these appas were my savior in the pandemic was we're making our ginger lemon wellness shots <laughs> So the kitchen doesn't have the best angles, but what I did while the appa, appam or appe was cooking was we're making our ginger lemon wellness shots. If you follow me on Instagram, I've shared the recipe there already. So what I did is took two oranges, peeled them, put them inside. We have some pink lemons as well. And we also have a bunch of ginger and now I'm going to just add some water to it and some orange juice, some lemon juice, if you want to add more of the processed things just for additional flavor it's fine and then once you strain it and then i fill it into those little bottles which i'm gonna drop a picture of it here what it looks like the end product and you can also add black pepper red chili powder and these shots are just so good for you you can call them wellness or immunity shots and you can also make them with a bunch of other ingredients you could make like beetroot carrot ginger but i like to stick to my regular recipe it's just so easy and takes me like 30 minutes to make this What did you think of the appe? You ate them and did not tell me. Oh yeah, I, I <laughs> oh yeah, they were so good that I did not feel like I made them. You made one, especially. Bahar se jisse raate waise hi feel ho raha hai, toh bahut achcha lagta hai. That's not a compliment. That's a compliment. Felt like like it's as good as you get it outside from a restaurant. So it was that good. Okay. And when I ate it, it was. Jal gaye. Oh, see. But you don't feel it. Wo sirf upar se color hai sir. Khane mein bahut achcha. Okay, I personally don't like it. I've had better. I used to make better. Guys, my onion, tomato, masala, masala, and all of that. These appas were my savior in the pandemic because this is with the amount of cooking I do. This was what I can do. I can't make idlis. I can't make dosas, but I can make this. Just jala hai yar. Like it's so black, but it doesn't taste that bad. And my mom makes me put oregano in it. Oh no. Oh, I like it. I put samar masala and I put oregano. Oh, these feel more authentic. retail store chain um and so i don't really understand how this casting it's going to be slightly different because it's not actually for a fashion show it's for a print campaign which is a huge deal if you're on blooming deals campaign um but then the things they asked for were pretty much the same so i have my heels i have my comp cards i do think i've shown my comp cards in a previous video but i could show them again just because i have like two and i'm obviously going to give them my latest one so this is the one i showed shot afterwards and then i have my measurements here my contact details and then my main headshot is my name here i do always carry a pen in case they want extra information so that i can just write it on the comp card um and they did say that carry your comp cards so that they can be attached to to your audition forms so for models and actors they have different rules for this casting for models they're going to film you doing a runway walk and so hence the heels and for actors they said that you should have a 60 second monologue prepared so i'm just going to be auditioning for the model runway model role um and i feel like hopefully i fit that criteria better this one was my old one but i do feel like one they're just not as crisp and i feel like black suits me so much better um and also this one had no headshot at all so it was kind of incomplete and i had written my instagram on it as well you can always write your instagram if especially your a freelance model and if your agency allows you to do that you can add your social media but usually agencies take care of all of your other photos in case they're sending you 
So if you're a freelance and you would want that, okay, you've seen my digitals, but you want to see more of my pictures, then you can head over to my Instagram. So it's just handful, uh, you know, useful to have that. And so you put your email and your Instagram, and never your phone number, because you don't want your phone number to be lying around in a thousand places. <laughs> model audition but I did get you snippets of the actors auditioning in fact I stayed back just to see the other actors audition what their monologues look like I feel like I could have actually done it because I have a few commercial scripts off the top of my head that I could have done but I guess yeah I told you I just lacked the confidence because I really thought they needed a 60 second monologue but then the director later told me you could have just done your acting thing um, yeah something I learned today and we here on Monday in case I get selected so this was an invite only casting and there were like 40 people all across the country that were selected so the fact that I was in the top 40 in USA who got the chance to even audition for wait what do you see that guy's uniform oh that guy was from Mercedes uh, F1 race oh he was a Mercedes guy I think so yeah, he, yeah. The, the, the guy in the F1 uh, yeah, yeah 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 oh my god I didn't why is he here I don't know, but that was pretty cool. I saw his dress. I was like, "Fuck!" I, no, 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 that Mercedes guy. I know Toto. his face. Toto. He looked like Toto from the back. As soon as I turned, he was like, "Is that that guy?" I didn't pay that much. I don't remember Toto's face that this much. This is a one-way road. We can't turn. Yeah, fuck, do that. But he did look. I don't think he was Toto though. Toto wouldn't be standing around yeah, New York City yeah, yeah. But he was he part of be. that team because he had all the same uh -huh. logos. It was. Are they doing an F1 thing here? I don't know. Maybe in office here. Oh. I was expecting like a race car right now. Anyway, so. What was I saying? But we'll lock up the floor. Block the beach. Come on. Hmm. Oh, but she ordered the Yuski mummy who's good jackets of a chari. Look, you can't see the birds of us. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I was just grateful to be in the top 40 of USA that got a chance to audition for Bloomingdale's Ralph Lauren and if you get selected, I mean that would be a huge, huge deal and I do think that based on my walk alone, I was easily in the top 10, maybe even top 5 of that group but now it all comes down to, like they were telling us that it all comes down to does Bloomingdale's want you, like they have such a specific height um, requirement, measurement requirement um, now if they want someone 5'9", five, 5'10", five, I am not that good so that would be a bummer but I just can't do it um, they're also very strict about like you know they have a mood board so this is the kind of faces we're looking for if I'm not that kind of face I'm not gonna get it and something else that of course I struggle with this here that you know for Americans, Indians are people with brown skin and so even though I am an Indian, it doesn't matter. I'm not brown, so I'm not South Asian. So I don't fit, I can't do Indian roles because I don't look Indian enough for them or I don't speak in a very heavy, thick Indian accent for them, like when it comes to the acting projects. So that's kind of weird typecasting thingies. So they told me you'd fit more into the European, like they think I'm Russian or Ukrainian, I don't know. They keep thinking I'm from all of those countries. And I was just telling Satvik right now that even a lot of the Indian models here, like they don't come and talk to me, but they do go talk to other Indian models just because like they feel like face-wise, they feel like they are Indian. Hai. But then I'm just like, dude, I understand the Hindi you're talking and, and then I have to go and make that conversation and like initiate that whole thing. So just a little bit of a obstacle that I feel that happens with me. But anyway, fingers crossed. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and this was a few days in my life being a YouTuber, coach, actor, model, you saw everything happen and also a wife while I make lemon ginger shots for my husband who I try to keep really really healthy this is okay, okay. <laughs> yeah that's his appearance in the vlog he's really camera shy these days he's still getting back to his normal routine but I hope you guys see more of Satvik in the next vlog and I love you guys so so much and I will see you very soon in the next one this is again a very random thing I just walked yeah. right past him <laughs> Oh, you have to see this new artwork. That looks so yummy.